Hey everybody, this is Lex, and uh, I'm bringing you a new speed paint. If you can't guess from the music, this one is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog themed. I adored Sonic the Hedgehog when I was a kid. And um, even more than Sonic, Tails was my favorite character, so of course this is going to include Sonic's little buddy Tails. So I'm starting with a sketch, and I'm doing the characters and the background, since this is kind of an involved background for me, on uh, different layers and in different colors, so I can see them, uh, tell them apart really easy when I'm doing um, like editing and then eventually inking. There is just something about Sonic's design that kind of like Spyro um, I think really really helped in Sonic's longevity. Like, even through, um, you know, some less than stellar games that uh, came out, the Sonic fan base still remains very devoted. You know, franchises should be lucky to have, uh, have fan bases as incredibly um, devoted as Sonic. Through ups and downs, still manages it. Oh, and if you haven't checked him out, the Sonic uh, Twitter feed is hilarious. Definitely worth a look. But he's got such a compelling design. It's simple, it's bright, um, just very appealing all around. And the same can be said of um, most of his friends. Um, yeah, especially Tails. Really, the older the character, uh, it feels like the simpler they felt they could be with the design. And that simplicity is often one of the franchise's strengths. So you can see I'm starting to do the uh, line work here. To tell a secret, um, this is not the first time I have done this piece. I, I did this um, in its first iteration years ago, like maybe almost 10 years ago now. But I did it in traditional medium and ink and markers. And my markers, while they were very good, they were like Prismacolor and Copic and such, um, a few of them ran out right in the middle of while I was working. And um, oh, it was awful. I had to switch to another less ideal shade. And so it kind of dorked everything up for me. It still ended up being one of the more popular uh, of my old pieces. In fact, it even hung in a um, temporary uh, exhibit in um, Phoenix for a little while about like video game fan art, uh, which I was immensely proud of. Um, so the old piece was definitely not without its merits, but because I'm much more digital now, I wanted to have another crack at it. And... Um, as you'll see by the end, um, I'm really pleased with how this came out. Another thing about the franchise that I adore is the music. Like, they're, it's almost always spot on. Really high energy. Um, the music doesn't often sound exactly the same. Like, even the butt rock stuff is fun. Like, yeah, all right maybe not always good, 
but a lot of fun, and I, I really like it. Oh, here you can see I found a um, kind of a sneaky way to do the grids, because gosh, I did not want to do the grids. I have a grid brush in Procreate, and then once I applied where I wanted it, I just warped it so that it would look uh, it would look right on the uh, on the area, and that made it so much easier. Like I said, so much of digital art is figuring out good ways of uh, saving time and effort. <laughs> so I'll definitely be remembering that brush again in the future. And then I just erase where I don't want the grid to be. And here I go. background was doing something kind of weird so I was trying to fix it there and now I'm just erasing all the grid lines so that uh, they're not laying right on top of everything and that was so much faster than having to make all of those grid lines by hand so yeah never underestimate the power of downloadable brushes like oftentimes yeah you're your first set of brushes is going to get you really far and should not be sneered upon at all. In fact, most of what I use is still those those default brushes. But like with especially with patterns, it's super helpful. Also, you can see here I'm starting to block in the color. I didn't do much with alpha lock in this piece. Uh, I think I just felt like it was in a hurry. And the colors were so simple and the shading needed so minimal that I didn't bother with it. So yeah, I just used the paint bucket tool for a lot of, uh, a lot of the bigger blocks of color. Oh, here we go, doing Tails' Baby Blues. Well, he and Sonic have such bright eyes. I really wanted to capture that. Sonic's got green and Tails has blue. But I put a little green into Tails' eyes to really get them to plop, to like pop, pop. And I put a little bit of blue into the highlight of Sonic's eyes for the same reason, using a bit of a color that's not you know, the, of the color that you're uh, actually using as its base um, can be a good shading technique. Now, well, I'm starting to color the grid here. And all of this is sitting over that sky layer, so you can see where the clouds kind of go behind things. Yep, more paint bucket madness. You know, it's not just Sonic and uh, his good guy buddies that have amazing color palettes or, and uh, designs, too. But, like, Dr. Robotnik, and I've never gotten the hang of calling him Eggman, so forgive me, I'm calling him, showing my age, calling him Dr. Robotnik. Um, but uh, I think he was actually the first character that was designed um, for Sonic. It was actually designed for a different game that never got created, and it was just sort of him in some pajamas. He was supposed to be a protagonist, not a villain. Um, and then, but they liked the character design so much that they recycled it into the bad guy for their next big hit, which is Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, the rest is history. His uh, design has, and color palette has has remained um, definitely some changes but mostly they're pretty minor it just sort of looks like he's changed clothes whereas you know Sonic and Tails and his friends they've they're like physically different than they were in their first iterations which is fine. You can kind of see this is the Sonic Adventure version of them here.
I had a plush doll of Tails. Two of them, actually, when I was a kid. And they were my favorite. Uh, the highlight of my ninth birthday. I just loved them. I may actually still have the older one around somewhere. Now that I think about it. But here we're blocking in the shading. Um, because the color is uh, so important and because in the original games they don't really have much shading, um, I didn't do a whole lot here. I just shaded with some darker versions of uh, their same color and then blended it in. So not a whole lot was needed, just, uh, just a touch. You know, Sonic was originally going to be a rabbit. Yeah, they were going to make his design into a rabbit, which honestly makes more sense than a hedgehog for, you know, God go fast. And his ears were going to kind of stream out behind him as he ran. Um, which was an idea that I think carried over much, much later into uh, Cream the Rabbit. But, um, yeah, he was originally going to be a rabbit, and then when he was designed, they decided to give him some spikes for um, protection. And they're like, yeah, it looks more like a hedgehog. And they made him into a hedgehog instead. And that's why something that is not normally uh, synonymous with speed has uh, suddenly become the fastest thing alive. Oh, starting to do like the gold shading and texturing on the, the rings. I've always loved the rings. They're so fun to look at. They're shiny and sparkly. They always have been. And I'm glad that they've remained a constant through all the games. I wonder why they decided to go with rings right at the beginning. Like, that, that was an early choice. And uh, I just... Not sure I uh, understand the reasoning, but I love them. You know, there's a lot of the Sonic fandom that I think I could... I could uh, categorize that way. I don't understand it, but I like it anyway. So I did some shading. I was a, I was, uh, I was stupid and didn't do the background on a different layer here. So I had to kind of work with what I had. So I did some shading on the background to get it to kind of fall back a little by turning it darker, which means I had to erase it over everything in the foreground, to get it to look a little more smooth. As you can see, we're starting in on the, the final shading on things and like the background. I don't do detailed backgrounds like this very often. I should, I, but I don't. Um, so this forced perspective um, was a real challenge for me. Um, I think it looks, uh, looks pretty fun though. You know, and I don't care who knows. I think uh, Tails is one of just the cutest characters in all of fiction. You can't change my mind. You can see that unifying palette over everything, and I'll be. I always like to hide my signature somewhere fun. And now the fast version. So you can see it real quick without all of the uh, zooming in and out, making you nauseous. I had so much fun revisiting this piece. Um, I really need to dig into some of my old archives and see the 
art of years past that I've forgotten. There's some gems in there. Not a lot, but a couple. Enough to warrant looking. This was one of them. Alright. Coming in on the end of this here. And there we go. Thank you for uh, coming along with me on this uh, journey. I love making these. I'm going to keep it up. See you next time.